Hi, I'm Matt Golifchinski from What Digital Camera, and today we're looking at the Canon EOS 450D. The 450D is Canon's 19th DSLR, and it features a 12.4 megapixel CMOS chip, which gives an effective resolution of 12.2 megapixels. The EOS 450D is Canon's first consumer DSLR to offer live view functionality. The live view is displayed on the camera's rear 230,000 dot resolution LCD screen, which measures 3 inches, and it's activated by pressing the set button in the menu pad like this. The camera features an EOS integrated cleaning system first seen on the 400D which shakes the low pass filter in front of the sensor to dislodge any dust that might have gone in uh, in the first place. It also features a dust delete data system whereby the camera can map any dust that might have gone in uh, on images and delete them via the digital photo professional software afterwards. Okay, so if we look at the top plate of the camera, you've got the power switch there, which is next to the modal, which has all the scene and manual exposure settings like that. Canon's also shoehorned in an ISO button, uh, which is just between the front command dial and the modal. And over on the top here, we've got the hot shoe, which accepts Canon's uh, speed light flash range, as well as uh, the pop-up flash, which has a guide number of 12. Okay, so the rear of the camera is dominated by the 3-inch LCD screen, above which are menu and display buttons. And along the sides, you've got exposure compensation, uh, white balance button, which has been coupled with the uh, pick bridge uh, direct print button. You've also got the uh, directional buttons and play and delete controls. Um, the directional buttons are also um, have been assigned uh, different settings such as the picture style, autofocus mode, drive mode and metering options too. Just at the top here we've got uh, buttons to zoom in and out of images as well as displaying uh, thumbnail grids for uh, reviewed images. The 450D is also unique in that it offers SD support as uh, its only uh, media uh, format. Um, this has been an option on the 1D series models along with Compact Flash, but it's never been an option uh, standalone on the uh, lower end models. Okay, and on the left hand side of the camera, you've got three sockets. You've got a video out socket at the top, you've got a socket for connecting remotes to uh, in the middle, and also a USB, uh, mini USB for connecting uh, to a computer. The camera doesn't have a PC socket, so it can't be uh, connected um, through one of these to external flash units. The camera features nine points for autofocusing. It's got a center f2.8 point around which eight further points are situated. It offers a 3.5 frames per second speed, up to 56 JPEGs, uh, six raw files, or four raw and JPEG files recorded simultaneously. Good. Now using the kit lens, the 18-55 to IS lens, focusing is generally done at a good speed. The lens is a little bit noisy and in low light it can hunt and demonstrate just how noisy it can be. Um, but despite not having a USM motor, it does focus fairly quickly. The camera does have an impressive dynamic range and exposures are generally spot on. White balance is also quite accurate too and although colours can look a little bit flat, uh, generally, if you use the landscape picture style mode, it helps inject a little bit of warmth and saturation uh, into blue skies and foliage. Noise control is fantastic. This is one area where Canon DSLRs have really excelled in the past, and up to the 1600, it's just a fine cast of chrome noise uh, that you can see that's easily removed. JPEGs are not too bad, but they're not as detailed as raw images. When it comes to image quality, exposures are fantastic and noise control is also very impressive. Even up to 1600 ISO, noise is only a fine cast of chrome noise which can be easily removed in post-production. JPEG quality is okay, but it's not as sharp as the raw files uh, with the exception of highlight areas where details blown out where the camera does a really good job of pulling back detail from raw files. There's not a lot to dislike about the 450D. It handles really nicely, it feels really good, and the image quality is good too. There are some operational quirks, such as the menu system, but overall it's still a fantastic camera, and we give it 89%.
Thank <laughs> you.